guys, it's Stephanie here from My Porch Prints. Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about our Cozy Gratitude Journal Kit, along with a couple of other things as well. Um, but to start with, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this kit with Thanksgiving coming up. Some of you are thinking about gratitude, and this is just a really fun little kit for making a gratitude journal. And I have actually used a couple of other kits along with this, just some fussy cuts and things, and I'll try to link those down below. But many of you ask, um, do you use your journal? Do you write in your journal? And you certainly can. Um, there's a lot of different ways to use a journal. I'll actually link to um, our website where I have an article about how you can use a junk journal and how you can also gift a junk journal. Um, but you can also use it just for writing, and that's what this is about. The Cozy Gratitude Journal comes with um, these writing pages. And I just wanted to show you how I put this together and how I sometimes write in my journal. I haven't gotten very far in this one, but I'm hoping to continue throughout the year. So there's just a little bit of a look into how this can kind of go together. And if you're wondering how to make a journal with the cover and the pages and how that all works, I will also put a link to how you can make and bind your own journal. But today I wanted to talk to you about the pages in your journal, especially this kind of journal um, that comes with writing pages. We also have um, baby journals that come with um, pages for recording uh, information about your baby, you know, um, as it grows and things. And we have other journals as well with writing pages. And one of the issues people run into with writing pages is, um, I've got some here and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So. I've got a set of four pages right here and they each have the writing page on this right side. And then when you flip them over, I've printed blank and lined pages on the back. And so one of the issues people run into is when you make your signature of pages, your folded group of pages, um, you get these nice writing pages here at the front of the signature, right? They're all right here. But then when you get to the back of your signature, they're gone. <laughs> there's nowhere to write. And there's a really easy way to remedy that, and I'm going to show you real quickly. So what I have done to fix that is I take my pages and I divide them in half for each signature. So if this signature has four pages, which it usually has more, but I only printed four for this example, um, I divide it into two and two. And what I would do is I would take half of my pages and fold them backwards. So I had them folded like this, but instead I'm going to fold them backwards. So now, instead of being on the outside, like these, our writing pages are on the inside. Okay, and then what you wanna do is alternate. So you take one of these outside pages and one of these inside pages and you put them together and then you do the same thing here and then what happens is that you've got a writing page and then some of your blank and lined pages and another writing page blank and lined and then when you go to your back of the signature you still have writing pages so it doesn't divide it you've got writing pages throughout your book and that's what I did with my journal. So as you can see, I've got um, a signature of pages. Let me skip to the second signature. I haven't filled this one out yet. So I've got a writing page and then I've put some writing prompts from the kit on my blank and lined pages. And you can see that that works really well for dispersing the writing pages and then giving you a place to decorate or add photos or whatever you wanna do in these middle pages. Can you hear my dog? He's scratching. <laughs> I can hear his collar jingling in the background. <laughs> so anyway, that's how you can distribute the writing pages throughout your journal and make it so that they're not just at the front of your signature. And this is just a really fun little kit for writing your gratitude. And then one other thing I wanted to talk to you about is adding photos to your journal. Of course, there's lots of ways you can do that. You can just print your photos on your printer. Um, but something I have found that I really like is this Kodak Step. And there are lots of these. I'm not getting paid to promote this or anything. I just, I bought it and I liked it. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, but anyway, it's just a printer and it prints stickers that are like photos. So it prints you photo stickers and it, you can print directly from your phone. 
So it's just a little printer. I can't demonstrate it right now because I'm actually using my phone to record this video. <laughs> but you would use your phone and you would just print the photos out and they come out this little hole here and it's a sticker that you can just peel off and stick in your journal. And as you can see, I've done some here. And this is actually a picture of a road near us this fall that was just really beautiful that I wanted to print. And then same thing here, I printed some sunsets. I took these pictures from our backyard or actually those are from our front yard because the sunsets <laughs> in our front yard. And then I printed our grandson here and you can see it prints collages. So I actually got three photos onto one piece, although my mom's face got cut off just a little bit. Sorry, mom. <laughs> but um, it's just a really fun way. So if you want to um, have a photo a day in your journal, you can just take your phone, pick your favorite photo from that day and print it off, whether it's your grandkids or a picture of a pretty sunset or you know something you saw that day that you wanna record. It's a really fun way to do it. So I'll put a link to this down below. It'll be an affiliate link. And um, you can pick one of these up if you want to. It's just a fun way to do little photo stickers in your journal. So that's just a look at our gratitude journal and at a way that you can put the pages together and then also a way that you can add photos to your journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And there will be links down below for how we did these kind of things and um, for items that you can pick up as well. So thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.